Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Basilia, Luis, Eduardo, Elsie, Christian, Diego, Jenny, Judith, Janet, Fatima, Eunice, Melvin, uh, Fatima, Karina, and Fatima, Abigail. Okay. Okay. Uh, welcome one more time. Welcome to the uh, to our. Well, this is the third week, if I'm wrong. So this uh, today we are going to be covering um, the day. I guess it was Mon Tuesday, the day we didn't come, uh, or Monday. I don't remember. But uh, uh, anyway, uh, we are going to be working today, and we are going to be working on a topic uh, which I think is going to be really, really, really useful. Uh, welcome, Marjorie. And how was your day? How are you? How was your day, everyone? It was, it was uh, a good day for me. Oh, good. Be because I, I returned to, to the job. Oh, nice. So welcome back to your job. Okay. Who else? Yeah. Uh, who else want to share about uh, your day? How was your day? Uh, my day was a little tired because I have a lot of work, but now um, I'm only relaxed and ready to listen to class and learn learn a little more of English. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Luis. Um, anyone else who want to share about his or uh, her uh, day? How was your day? Anyone, don't be shy. Good evening, hey, good evening, Sarah. How are you? Hi, five thing. Thank um, you. Uh, I'm I'm all right. Thank you for asking. How was your day, Sarah? What do you do today? I I work in the world. Funny and the pets. Five oh. five cats. Funny. Okay. Oh, nice. So you have yes. five. Five, five cats? Five cats. Oh, okay. Okay, nice. Nice. Thank you, Sarah. Okay. So I hope uh, your classmates are going to join us later. Uh, let's go to the to the topic. Uh, uh, I'm, going, I'm going to start sharing my screen. In the meantime, uh, I don't see who is missing. I feel like somebody's missing. Mm -hmm. Who's missing? Oh, I know who is missing. Um, what's her name? I, I'm, 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 her last name is Martinez. Do you remember her? Oh, pregunta. Ayer hubieron clases. Uh, Patricia Marroquín. Yes, yes. There was class yesterday. We had classes yesterday, right? ¿Verdad que tuvimos clases ayer? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes, sí, sí, Patricia. We had classes. Okay, uh, bueno, por los que no estuvieron ayer, porque veo que um, hay quizás algunos que no estuvieron ayer, eh, como ustedes saben, el día lunes y el día martes no tuvimos clases, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, la clase de lunes es la que estamos recuperando este viernes, ¿ok? Y la clase del martes, eh, del martes que perdimos, será el próximo viernes. ¿Por qué el próximo viernes? Como ustedes saben, este módulo termina el día jueves. Jueves o sea, 10. Otro, jueves 10, correcto. Pero como de todas las sesiones nos hace falta una, por eso vamos a salir el día, ¿qué? El día viernes, correcto. Viernes 11, ¿ok? ¿Es that clear? Ok. Ok, uh, vamos a ver qué dice acá. ¿Me puede bueno, pasar bueno. Los, los apuntes? Oh, trabajé anoche. Ok, ya. Yeah. Uh, if you want my PowerPoint presentations, as I've been saying, uh, just send me a, a, a text in the in the WhatsApp. Send it over there, and um, I'm going to share my uh, PowerPoint presentations. Okay. Anytime you need it, I'm going to send it to you. Right. Just let me know the next day so that I can share it with all of you. Okay. okay. Good. All right. So what are we going to do today? All right, uh, in the previous days, we have worked with the present perfect, right? Do you remember the present perfect? Yes? Yes. yes. No, no, okay. 
So uh, there is a question and that's going to be the topic. How long have you studied English? That's the topic for today. So that means that we are going to be uh, working with the past participle. Okay, I mean, uh, present perfect using the past participle of the verbs, okay? All right, here we go. So this is the, um, this is the agenda that I have for you. Uh, we're gonna have a warm up activity. Uh, the topic, the warm up is guess uh, four verbs past participle. We are going to be reviewing. Why are we going to be reviewing? It's because sometimes when we are using the present perfect, you know, when we are using the present perfect, el verbo que utilizamos no es el presente, no es el pasado, sino el pasado participio. Okay. So that's why it's very important that you know the past participle of all the verbs. Otherwise, it would be kind of difficult to have a complete meaning or complete sentence uh, when we are using the present perfect. And then later, we are going to be talking about the difference between since and for, okay? So maybe you know the difference, maybe you don't, okay? But that's fine, okay? Because if you know, good. So you are going to reinforce your knowledge. Pero si no lo saben, so that means that you are going to learn that tonight. And then we're going to be practicing questions, asking and answering questions with how long, how long, how long, okay? And lastly, uh, the practice. So what is the ob objective for today's lesson? The students will be able to use sentences using the present perfects to express ideas about activities they have done, okay? So some activity, for example, uh, I have worked uh, in my work, my workplace for, for a lot of time, for example, or I have visited my friends in Usulutan, okay? Or I have attended many famous concerts, for example, see? All right. Okay, review previous learning. What do you remember from yesterday's class? Anyone? Can I put you that? What do you remember from last class? Frequency of birth. Mm -hmm. Can you give me some examples? Then, next, finally. What else? First. Yes. Okay. Yes, Afterward. good. Afterward. Afterwards, uh -huh. what else? Let's come. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, summarize. summarize, yes. Okay. In addition. In addition, good. Eventually. Okay. Also, moreover. Moreover, good. Okay, yes. Secondly. So, secondly, yeah. So, we use um, those adverbs to express a sequence. So what goes first, what goes second, what goes third, and so on, all right? Okay, good. Next question. Okay, uh, in the chat, because I, I know you remember, in the chat, can you tell a sentence using sequence adverbs? Okay, can you use it? Can you tell, oh, I mean, go to the chat and type a sentence using a sequence uh, adverbs. Mm -hmm. Let me see in the chat. For example, look at my example. Um, okay, if you want to cook eggs first, First, by the eggs, okay, see? Look my example, uh, okay. If you want to cook eggs, mm -hmm. okay, let me see. First, I need to get up, okay? <laughs> okay, besides we can add more cheese to the hamburger, nice. Finally, uh, we add sugar uh, tests, hmm, okay. 
I don't know what it means, but yeah, finally we add sugar, okay? Okay, recipe, okay. First, I need to get up. First is bread and then the cheese. Hmm. First is bread and then the cheese. I don't quite understand. Is it like first you put the bread and then the cheese? Rosa Maria, I'm not sure. But thank you for sending your sentence, okay? First of all, clean your hands. Hands with D. Hands. Okay, nice. When I go to the supermarket, first of all, okay, first of all, I used to buy. Okay, Christian, can you double check that sentence? Okay, you did. Finally, you had to add water. Good. Janet, I'm going to cook before I'm going to eat. And then I'm going to sleep a few minutes. Okay, good. To taste, ah, okay. And then Jeanette for a, for a few minutes, I guess. First, made the doll, good. First, I drink water and then I have, I have, I have breakfast, okay, good. Thank you, thank you. I can see that you know how to use the sequence adverbs. So thank you for sending your sentences. All right, so let's do the warm up act. Activity. Okay, so we're gonna play an activity right now. And the activity is I think about okay, look at the directions. Think about one thing, object, fruit, country, etc. Then you are going to describe it as clear as possible. Then your classmates will need to guess. So I guess you need a guess, right? Guess, guess, guess. Adivinar, yes. Uh, your classmate will need to guess what you are describing. The one who guesses gets a point. All right, so what we're gonna do right now, it's I'm going to give you uh, five minutes, five minutes, so that we can play that game. Not really five minutes, I'm gonna give you three minutes, I guess. So what we're gonna do is you are going to think you're going to think about one, either one object, country, place, fruit, etc. Just think about one. And then you will describe that thing, but without mentioning the name of that thing. Porque sus compañeros tienen que adivinar, right? For example, okay, for example, okay, this is an example, right? Um, this place or this country, it's very beautiful. Uh, they have a very famous volcano that you can climb to the top and see fire, fire and smoke coming out. That volcano is very famous. So in that country, a lot of people from El Salvador go to that country because it's a very cheap country. What country am I talking about? Maybe Guatemala? Yeah, Guatemala. there you go. See, sí, Guatemala, see, sí, see. Sí. Okay, piensen, puede ser un país, puede ser una fruta, puede ser un objeto, puede ser anything. And you are going to describe it. So if you are using uh, an object, for example, a cell phone, for example, all right, you can say, oh, I use this gadget for making phone calls, for texting my friends, and your other classmates are going to guess what you are talking about. Okay? Está claro eso? Yes, teacher. Oh, Sandra, welcome. Yeah. Where are you, Sandra? You're not at home, Sandra. Well, she... Sandra? Well, and, okay, so we're gonna go to the breakout rooms right now, okay? So, and you breakout rooms, you are going to play that game. Okay, vamos a ver, breakout rooms, five minutes or three minutes. Okay, let me see, I'm going to have six rooms, okay? Good evening, teacher, I'm sorry, I tried to connect, but it is almost impossible. That's okay, Sandra, okay.
Okay. Hi. 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 Hello. Hello. Well, I, I think if you want, uh, I'll be the one who describes one thing. Well, in this case, it's a fruit. Uh, my, uh, this fruit is purple. It's a small. Great. Pass down. Hello. Uh, what is describing? Yes, if you want, you can describe. You, you first. Okay, I describe. Uh... Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I just closed the breakout rooms because I had on, uh, one or two groups with only two participants. So I'm going to make it a, a game. Okay, so I'm sorry. I know you were very, very motivated uh, to uh, describing your uh, thing, but I'm going to recreate right now uh, the breakout rooms. Okay, hopefully you have the same. You're going to be with the same. Bye bye. Hello. Hello. Um, do you have your things or your country? Yeah, I have my fruit. Uh, if you want, uh, I, I'm the first who describe. Well, uh, my. Hello. hello, hello, hello. Hello. Teacher. I, I have yes, a yes. Question. yes, yes. ¿Cómo se dice mat? What? O sea, de planta. <laughs> de planta, así como una enredadera, digamos. You mean like, uh, like, like a plant? Mm -hmm. So you're looking like for what? Uh, ¿Cómo se dice en español? No, en inglés, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, como enredadero. Enredadero. Uh -huh. hmm. I don't know how to say enredadero, but I can look it up and then I can let you know. Enredadero. ¿Y arbusto? Arbusto, oh, arbusto es a uh, bush. B -bush. U S H. Bush. Se escribe bush. como bush. Mm -hmm. it, but it's Se pronounced Bosch. Bosch. Yeah, like Bosch. George Bosch. Mm -hmm. Thank All you. Right. Mm -hmm. I started. Yes, you started. Okay. okay. One country. Okay. The, this country is in uh, Europe and and the, and the form is like a boat. <laughs> the letter, the letter is I. Um, is is it very famous? It's a country. Italy. Very, Italy. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good. Qué más? A Rosa María del Milagro, ayudé a Rosa María. Ya pasé, pero estoy pensando, estoy pensando. Oh, ok, ok. Yes. Ya, ahí, sin dar. 
So, Christian, in your case, what object do you describe? Well, it's a um, cloth you can use when it's cold, but at the same time, there are people who use when it's hot too. And uh, it can be of whatever color. Mm, pants, yogurt? No. Uh, I don't know how I can say it. Uh, or a cell phone? No. Office unis uniform. You use office uniform? Uh -huh. uh, no. Um, what I do? Look. Look at your yes, but you you use you use an uniform no on the day I, secretary and you yes secretary secretary I do yeah you saw uh that you in in your job you use uh uh presentable maybe and you uh you okay uh i hope uh, you participated in a small group and then you had a great time discussing i could attend many rooms uh, i guess i missed only one or two okay for the ones who uh who participated all right, so can you tell us what uh, your description so that we can guess in general? One volunteer, I need one volunteer. Mm -hmm. Un voluntario? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Janet. Um, generally, it's a place, it's a big place. Here you can go to take a good time walking a lot, watching many kinds of ve vegetation it's a park. and captive animals. Okay. Um, okay. Is it a forest or a park? A park, I think. I, I think a zoo? No. Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> is that Furesa? Yes. Oh, okay. So Mar yes. Mar Marjorie, what about yours, Marjorie? Um, me, uh, my favorite uh, fruit is uh, color green. And the flavor is acid. And sour, maybe... okay, sour. Mm -hmm. Sour, okay, okay. thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. um, and many people uh, think uh, that okay. these are the food of mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What Can is mango? It's a lemon or a mango? Lemon. Lemon? No. Mango. No. Mango? No. Mm. It's no. green. It's, it's a fruit. It's a fruit. Cocote. Cocote. Mamon. No. Mamon. No. Is it acid no. and what else? Kiwi. Green, uh, sour. It's uh, color green. Green and sour. I'm going to believe it. Green and sour. Green and sour. Avocado. No, avocado is that a fruit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's it, not sour. Is that papaya? Uh, no, no, it's orange. Uh, orange? Uh, orange or green? Papaya? La papaya orange. La papaya orange. Yes. Orange is, <laughs> is orange. It's not green. Okay, what is it then? Everyone, mm, tell us. Huh? I know what it is. I know what, what it is. is your, what is your Let me. It's ugly. Huh? The green apple. The green apple. apple. The green apple? Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. That is true. <laughs> yes. That is true. Yes. There are three different <laughs> colors, right? There are three different colors of apples. We have red, yes. yellow, and green. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. So, if I have, uh, if I have one more volunteer, if not, I'm going to move on. 
One volunteer or not? Should I move on or should I give you a chance? Teacher. Okay, go ahead. Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Me teach. Ah, okay. Well, this is one of the biggest countries in the world and one of the coldest. And this country is in two continents at the same time. Russia. Ah, oh, too easy. <laughs> it's <laughs> Russia. Yes, it's Russia. Yeah. And you're right. It's in the middle of two continents. Some people believe that they belong to Europe. Some other believe that they belong to, uh, to Asia. So, yeah, that's Russia. Mm -hmm. Yes. right okay <laughs> that was easy i guess i don't know all right so thank you all right so uh, we are going to move on then um thank you for participating um all right as you as i said before uh when we are talking about uh present perfect it's very important that you know and we know the past participle of the verbs okay uh, Something that I would like to that I would like you to consider is that these verbs are not past, but past participle. All right? Look, so I have become, become, break, broken, bring, brought, buy, bought, do, done, draw, drawn, drink. Drunk, eat, eaten, eating. or eating. A lot of people say eating. eating or eating. That's fine. Uh, feel and felt, wow. find and found. Okay. Okay. And that, how do you say that, that this verb? Go. Go. Yes, yes. Okay. Be careful because I know I have heard a lot of people saying go, 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 go. It's not go, but go, go. See, go. For example, go. let's let's go, let's go. Okay. No es en, en español se lee go. En español es go, pero en inglés es go, go, o, 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 go. Okay. Let's go. go. Okay. Let's go. Like no, yeah, like no. A lot of people say no, 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 no. Pero ese es español. No es español. English is no, no. Mm -hmm. All right. So go and gone, have and had, hear and heard, keep, kept, uh, read, read, read. Yes. Good. Good. Okay. Este me puede decir, pero pero teacher es el mismo verbo. Mire, él tiene las mismas letras. Yes. Tiene la misma letra, es el mismo verbo, pero la función, it's different. So that's why the pronunciation is different. All right? So you can tell me like, so teacher, how do I know si es read or read? The context, okay? Porque si ven una oración en present perfect, you know, you know que no es este verbo, sino que es este otro. So the pronunciation is going to uh, be different. Next, run, run is the same. Say, say, and sell. Sell. Sell, like, like when you're saying, oh, I'm thirsty. Tengo sed, like that, sed. See? Sed. Yeah. I know people say say. No, no, no. It's not say. It's sed. Sed. Yeah. Okay. The other one is see and sing. Sin. Teach and Talk. 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 Okay, talk. talk. Like for, I taught English. I talk, talk, talk. All right. What about this one? Write in. Writing. Written. Uh, written. Written. Yes, written. Written. Yeah. For example, sure. I have. Yes. You can repeat the pronunciation of the, the past participle of it. Eat, yeah. It eaten, eaten. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what I said. Depending. Okay. Look, uh, and especially in the United States, because the the English that we are learning, it's the American English, is not the British English. Okay. Just keep in mind that one, right? 
like the way the same the same example like with the spanish the spanish that we speak is spanish from latin america we don't speak the spanish from spain right so so and this one if you were in uh in uk you know, okay in the united kingdom um um you would say i got a lot of problems with this Okay, I hope. Um, okay, I hope Sandra, you can join us uh, when your um, your audio is correct. I guess because you ha you're you're having some um, uh, technical issues. I guess right, Sandra. Sandra. Okay, I hope she hears us, but she, uh, we cannot hear her. All right. So as I was saying before, so if you were in 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 United Kingdom or in England. Uh, that people would say eaten, eaten, but in the United States, people say eaten, eaten, yeah. eaten. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Thank you. All right. No, 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 you, you, uh, no problem. All right. Now, right now, what I would like you to do is let me see. Think about two verbs, además de estos, okay? Two verbs. And think about the simple form and the past participle. Y me lo dicen en el chat, por favor. Two verbs, que sean diferente to the ones that I have right here. Different ones. Mm -hmm. Present and past participle. Go in the chat. Vamos a ver el chat. Okay. Sleep, slept, shot, shot. Okay, good, good. Like the shot or the shot. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Right. All right. Listen. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, puedo, uh, me pueden dar un minuto, por favor. Uh, 20 seconds. Okay. Ahorita estamos enfocados en los verbos irregulares. Porque los verbos regulares, ustedes saben, solamente se le agrega ed. Okay. Ed o ied. Depending on the, the ending of the verbs. Esos son irregulares. Uh, pero los irregulares, they change. So, if you are typing, um, I mean, please type irregular verbs los cuales son un poquito a little bit difficult a little bit more difficult okay speak is spoken want wanted oh, okay uh, think about uh, irregular verbs begin begun break broken arise arisen build built burn uh -huh, burned or burnt Draw, drawn, okay, ese ya está ahí, pero I mean, that's okay, Stephanie, thank you. Brun, brun, lo mismo, uh, Ángel, ya está ahí, brun, brun. May, come and sleep. Put, put, ah, yeah, yeah, put, put, that's the same. Hang, hung, yes. Lead, lead, good. Lead, lead, good. Another one? Okay, it's good that you are coming up with uh, different ones. <laughs> Lose, lost, bribe, written, begin, begun, give, gave. Hmm, Judith, are you sure it's gave? Present, present. Giving, present. give, giving. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait a second. Freezer. Well, freeze, freeze. That's the verb, freeze. Trip, crept, dry, driven, make, made, by, beaten, fall, falling. Like falling in love, all right. Understand, understood, good, Luis. Understand, yes. Understood. Understand, understood, yes. Leave, left, good. No, known, as asked, become, become, fly, flown, yes, Eduardo. Thank you. All right, good. Thank you so much for sharing that. Okay, so now that I now that you know the past participle of the different verbs, let's move on to the next one, to the next slide. Okay, let me see. All right, as I was saying before, um, when, we are, when we are writing sentences with the present perfect, ¿qué necesitamos? We need a verb. Aquí, miren, aquí. Okay, see? Y... ¿En qué, ¿En qué tipo de verbo está? ¿En qué tipo de estado está? 
pass, the pass breath. Simple. Yeah, pass party is simple. Good. It's an irregular verb, but it's in a past participle. Good. So when we are using, uh, when we are, uh, when we want to express sentences with the present perfect, we are going to use the subject, as you know, okay, the subject, and then either have, okay, either have or has depending on this subject, okay? If I have I, uh, you, we, they, I'm going to use have. If I have he, That's she, it, it I'm going to have has, okay? Auxiliary. Okay, uh, the auxiliary verb, okay, good. Then, then I'm going to use the verb in the past participle, okay? And then the complement, okay? Is that clear? Yes, it's not clear. Okay, so the same happened with the negative one. So we need the subject, we need the auxiliary verb, and then the negative form, and then the, uh, the verb with the past participle. Good. All right. Let's move on. Okay. Let's see. Let me clear that up. Clear all drawing. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to need your help. Okay, who wants to do number one? Tell me the name. Number one, who wants to do number one? I have a study. Wait, okay, study. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, get, just, um, okay. Just tell me for, let me see. Uh, there is a micro, so a microphone which is on. Oh, it's Sarah Quintanilla. Okay, good. All right. Um, just tell me, for example, uh, who wants to do number one, number two, number three, number four, and so on. Number one, who wants to do number one? I have studied Okay, French. wait, 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 wait. Okay, Janet, number one, good. And then later you can tell me, okay? Okay. Uh, el primero lo hace Janet. El segundo, ¿quién quiere hacer el segundo? Un nombre? Who? Luis. Okay, Luis, good. Number three, who wants to do number three? Me. Sandra. Uh, Christian, Christian, number three, uh, Sandra, Sandra Ramirez, number four, Sandra. Okay, okay, number four, Sandra, good. Angel, number five, number okay. five, okay, uh, number six, number six, me, me teacher. Oh, uh, Diego, me, good, my... Diego, number seven, Violet, number eight, okay, number eight. All right, number nine. Who wants to do number nine? Me, teacher. Who is me? Who is me? Jenny. Okay, Jenny. Good. Thank you. Number ten. Who wants to do number ten? Me, teacher. Elsie. Oh, okay. Good. So now we have from one to ten. Okay. Yes. Number one. I have studied French. Okay. Let me see. Number one. I have studied French. Good. Number two. Who is number two? Uh, I. Okay. He have eaten octopus. Repeat it again, please. She have eaten octopus. Uh -uh. She have or she has? She has. She has eaten octopus. Sorry. Good. Thank you, Luis. Thank you. Good job. She has eaten octopus. Number three. Who has number three? King is me. Uh, uh, Christian. Oh, okay, Christian. Yes, number three. They have been to Scotland. Okay. They have been to Scotland. Good. Thank you. Number four. King is number four. Me, me, Sandra. Okay, Sandra. Go ahead, Sandra. We have read that book. We have read that book. Good, awesome. Thank you, Sandra. Who is number five? Number five? Me. Who is me? He has uh, lived. Angel. Okay. He has lived here for three years. Okay. He has lived. good, good job, lived. Angel. Yeah. Good job. He has lived here for three years. Okay. Years. Okay, good. Number six. Number six. Me, okay, Diego, Diego, Diego. Diego. Mm -hmm. 
You have now baby for 10 years. Okay. You have known. Okay, good. Thank you, Diego. Good job. Number seven. Number seven. Can I can me help you? I said number seven. Hello. Okay. Uh, I need another volunteer then. Mm -hmm. I can. It has Thank been you. here for two weeks. Say it, say it one more time, Eduardo. Say it one more time. We, we have been, been here for two weeks. Thank you. Let's see. Yes, good job. We have been here for two weeks. Good. Number eight. Who is number eight? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, Violeta. Okay. Okay, I have lost my keys. Okay. My key. I have lost my keys. Okay, my keys. Okay, good. Thank you. Good job, Violeta. Number nine. Who is number nine? Me. Okay, he Jenny. He has he has drunk too much coffee. Too okay. much coffee. Okay. Lee, okay. He has drunk. 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 Yeah, drunk. Too drunk. much. Too much. Too much. Coffee. 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 Good. Coffee. Thank you, Jenny. Number 10. Who is number 10? Me. Okay, they, Elsie. They have they have missed the train. Let me see. Good job. They have missed. The train. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> all right. So the same. Thank you for your participation. You did such a great job. All right. When we are asking questions, when we are asking questions with the present perfect, uh, this is the formula or the structure that we need to ask questions with the present perfect. For example, for example, look. Have you, oh, let me see, okay. Have Hi. you seen her? Have we seen her? Have they seen her? If I had, I, you, we, they, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. If I have he, she, and it, that would be has. Mm -hmm. Okay. Has he seen her? Has he seen her? Mm -hmm. And if the answer is yes, well, that would be yes, I have. Yes, you have. Yes, we have. Okay, listen to this. <clears throat> listen to this. Um, be careful when uh, the way you answer a, question, a short question, because you got to be really careful. The way you are asked the same uh, question is the same way you are going to respond. Okay? For example... If somebody asks you, do you like pupusas, for example? Ustedes van a responder. Si es, si es sí, ¿cómo respondería? How would you respond? Yes, yes I am. am. Mm. Yes, I do. 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 Ah, yes, I like. Yes, I like. Yes, I like. Sí, escucharon, ¿verdad? Yes, sí, I do. Okay. Yes, sí. I like. Yo escuché como cinco tipos de respuestas a una pregunta bien yes, corta, como por I ejemplo. Do. So, listen. Listen careful the way... Uh, the person is asking you and the same way the person is asking you is the same way or the same, the same um, auxiliary verb that you are going to respond. Si yo les pregunto, do you like? Ve, la pregunta va con do. So la respuesta va a ser, yes, I do. Ajá. Si yo les pregunto, are you happy? La respuesta sería, yes, I am. Good. Good. Ok. Si yo les preguntara, can you speak English? The answer would be. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Come on. I can't, but. No, I can't, but I'm learning. Well, you can say that. I, I'm a, you can say, you know what, bro? I'm a pro. You say, I'm a pro. I'm speaking English. Eh? There. Say, wow, you're a pro. You're a pro speaking English. Yes, I'm a pro. Okay. Um, okay, let's move on. If you are asked, will you go to school tomorrow? 
Y suponemos que van a ir a la escuela mañana. So, how will you respond? Yes, I will. Yes, yes I will. Okay. Yes, I will. Okay. okay. So, the same happened here with the present perfect. Because the same way I use here is the same way that I'm going to answer. See? Have you seen her? Yes. Uh, well, in that case, that would be them, right? Okay. Okay, let me see. Uh, let me clear this. Okay. Have you seen her? Yes, I have. Oh. See, look at the other one. Has he seen her? Yes, yes he, he has. Has. Good. Okay. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, no me vayan a decir en la otra vez, pero si yo les pregunto, do you like pupusas? Y alguien me va a decir, yes, I am, I or yes, I like, or yes, I... Okay, I uh, though, though, let me tell you something. It, it doesn't mean that you are wrong, okay? It doesn't mean that. It just means that depending on where you are, um, depending on the place you are, or depending on the person you are speaking to, the same way um, you need to um, be more polite, okay? When we, when we respect these grammatical points, we are being more respectful. We are more polite, okay? No es que esté mal, sino que es un poco más, digamos, educated, all right? Okay, más formal. Uh -huh. It's more formal. Yes, okay. Do you have any question about this? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Oh, okay. Clear, All right, good, good. It's good. All right. What about when we uh when we want to express um when we want to use scenes and for? Repeat after me, please. Scenes. Okay. Okay. Just be careful Sin. because I know many people, many people say signs, signs, signs. This is not sign. It's sin. 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 Okay. Okay. When when do I use scenes? I use scenes with a point in time. For example, when I say, I have uh, learned English since 2000, 2000, let me see, 2008, okay? I have uh, learned English since 2008, okay, see? So basically what you're saying is since you are providing a point in time, okay? A point in time. What about four? Four is not a point in time, but is a period of time, okay? All right, so cuando utilizo since, Coloco cuando comencé a hacer esa acción o cuando lo comencé a hacer, right? Por ejemplo, yo he aprendido inglés desde 2008, por ejemplo. Desde, since. Pero, if I want to say for, si quiero decir for, quiere decir I have learned English for, lo voy a type in the chat, ok? Okay. I, have learned, I have learned English so many for years. since 2008. See? Yes. I have learned English for, let me see, year. for 14 years. For years. See? See, it's the same thing. Okay. The difference is that the first one I'm mentioning the period, the period of time when that action started. Okay, cuando comenzó. All right, and the other one it's I have learned English for 14 years. El periodo de tiempo. Okay, todo el periodo de tiempo. Okay, look at the examples. 
For example, since five o'clock, since yesterday, since last summer, since 1996, since he was a child. How about four? Four, 10 minutes, four, two days, four, three decades, four, many years, for a long time. Okay. Okay, let me see. Look at these other examples. Okay, but before I move on and I continue explaining, uh, is that clear for and since? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, it is clear. Okay, está claro. Alguien necesita que refuerce más? Yo lo puedo hacer con gusto, okay? I can do it with my heart. I can do it and I can continue explaining it. I don't have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think it's clear. What is it? Is that clear? Continue. Okay, okay, good, good. Okay, look at these other examples. Um, I have been living in Japan since 2012, see? I'm mentioning the time where, when something started, but look this other sentence, I'm sorry. I have been living in Japan for four years. Ahorita estoy en el 2016, y estoy diciendo, I have been living in Japan for four years. O sea, todo este tiempo, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, four. Okay, estoy mencionando un periodo de tiempo, all right? And the other one is when something started, a starting point. All right, good. All right, so let me ask you those questions. How long have you practiced English? Okay, escríbame en el chat, por favor. Your answer, answer to question number one. How long have you practiced English? Okay. Vamos a ver en el chat. Mm -hmm. How long have you practiced English? I have practiced English. Practiced English. Okay, vamos a ver, Luis Melgar dice, okay. I have practiced English since 2019. Excelente, thank you. Who else? I have practiced for two years, good. I have practiced English since 2019, good. I have practiced English since 2005, good. I have practiced English since two, 2020, good. That's good, Patricia, good job. Uh, I have practiced English since 2004, good. I have practiced English for 12 years, good, good, Sandra. Uh, Giovanni have practicing. Okay, 2004. Good, good. All right. Okay, nice. But I can see your answer. Good, good. Now let's go to the second question. How long have you lived in El Salvador? Si, fue, si estuvieran viviendo en El Salvador, right? Mm -hmm. How long have you lived in El Salvador? Basilia, Basilia, ahí le hace falta algo. Le hace falta, le hace falta la, el auxiliary verb, que es have. I <laughs> funny. have been <laughs> You're funny. In El Salvador for... <laughs> okay, uh, Luis Melgar, I lived... Hmm. Okay, Luis, be careful, Luis, porque allí si usted me dice I lived in El Salvador, significa que ya no vive en El Salvador. Okay. Oh, ya no viven en Salvador. Mm -hmm. Ya no están en Salvador. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, Sorry, miren, la, ah, miren la diferencia I, entre el pasado I, y el pasado perfecto. Uh -huh. Okay. I have lived in El Salvador for 20 years, okay? I have lived in El Salvador for, uh, in El Salvador all my life, okay? I have lived in El Salvador for 37 years, good. I have lived in El Salvador since 2005. I have lived for 25 years. I have lived in El Salvador. Okay, for a long time. Good. Good, good. Thank you. I have lived in El Salvador since ever. <laughs> okay. Yes. Question? Question? No question? No question. 
Okay, uh, somebody said my, my whole life. That's what I heard somebody, I read somebody say that. Okay, um, good. The next question, okay, now the next question, you need to complete it. Imagine you want to ask a question, okay? Imagine you need to ask a question. How long have you? Have you what? Completing is our is our is a question. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. How long have you? How long have, have you? you? Mm -hmm. Been. Okay. Remember, Janet. Janet. Remember mm -hmm. that when we are using, I mean, in the present perfect, we need oh, okay. the past yeah. participle. Okay. Good. Okay, how long have you practiced bicycle? Okay, how long have you worked for that company? Good question. How long have you mm, been married? How long have you been married? Okay, good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Next, next questions. I'm waiting for you. How long have you been a father? Okay, good question. Next. Next question. How long have you been married? Okay, good. Next question. How long are you eating pupusas? <laughs> My entire <laughs> life, I believe it. How long have you lived in, this, in the United States? Okay, good. Okay. Um, what else? More questions. I want to hear more questions. How long have you... Have you lived be with a family? Hmm. How long have you Maybe been Rosa Maria, you can say how long have you li uh, how long have you been living with your family? Maybe how long have you drunk tequila my entire life? No, nah, no, nah, that's not true. I don't drink. How long have you sung in English? Okay. How long have you practiced your English? Good question. Yes. How long what? All right, I, I think, I think uh, we made it to the uh, to the end of the class. So before we go, uh, type in the chat one sentence either using since or for. Acuérdense, cuando utilizamos since, we use it uh, for something with a starting point. Pero cuando utilizamos for Lo utilizamos como un periodo de tiempo, ¿ok? A period of time, ¿ok? Ok, go in the chat and type one sentence either using since we have studied for one, for one, for one. Uh, this is misspelling over there, Christian. Month, month, no mouth, mouth, something like that, ¿ok? Okay, he has been working here since 2016. Good. Ah, oh, month. Yes, there you go. <laughs> I have played the guitar since 2016. Okay, good. We are proving your attention, teacher. Huh? What? We are proving your attention. <laughs> oh, okay. I have worked in their company since 2011. Good, good. Mm -hmm. I have been a mom for 15 years. Good. Who else? Okay, more sentences I'm waiting for. Okay, I'm waiting for more sentences with since and for. No more, no more questions? No more to me. No oh, more. all right, all right, I have gone to Jean since 2011. I'm a secretary since I have been, I have been, I have been slept. Okay. Since six o'clock. Okay. <laughs> I have studied for six months. Good. I have been up since four o'clock in the morning. All right. Good. Okay. So time is up and I wish I can continue talking and teaching more, but uh, there is another group that is waiting for me. So thank you so much for showing up today i hope to see you on monday okay, thank so you thank you have a great weekend enjoy with your family and enjoy your time be safe and remember wear a mask if you're outside okay thank <laughs> you, thank right. you. Right. have a great day bye -bye. thank you bye, -bye. Night. Bye. Night. good night